Hey guys, um, I'm going to attempt a comic like Halloween tutorial. <laughs> um, we're gonna see. I am going to try to do Wonder Woman. I'm looking at a picture right now so I can um, see about trying to uh, copy it. Um, just trying to get it so my phone doesn't go to sleep. There we go. Alright. And it is, I don't know if any of y'all have seen Nikki tutorials. Um, but I was searching, um, you know, trying to get inspiration. So, uh, hopefully I can at least accomplish something this gorgeous. Look how gorgeous she is. So Nikki tutorials, um, you are one gorgeous uh, makeup guru. I love your stuff. So we're going to try to do something similar. Bear with me. It's my first time trying to do the comic book stuff. So I'm going to take these off. Yes, I jerry-rigged my glasses with some tape. Because that's all I got, y'all. I'm going to put them on my bed so they don't get disturbed at this time. So, of course, face primer. We need to prime our face, especially using makeup on our face so it doesn't sink into our pores so I hope everyone is doing fantastic on Wednesday Wednesdays are always our tough days we have a lot going on on Wednesdays school wise so they're a little bit longer days sometimes we get ahead and stop quite early sometimes we don't it all depends okay so I'm actually going to do my eyes, so of course eye primer, love this stuff, stuff stays on all night long, so when you're out, you know, say you have a work, a work party, Halloween party, and you're dressing up as Wonder Woman, your eye makeup will stay put all day, and if you're going to be Wonder Woman for actual Halloween, well there you go, you have this, your eye makeup stays put the entire time. Okay, so I'm going to kind of get like a base, a basic light transitioning color. So I'm going to use my pressed powder in Astute. This is a light brownish color. And I'm just going to, just going to get my deluxe brush here and just put that out. Actually, before I do that, because this is why I have it out, I'm going to do my pressed powder and press that powder right into my eyes. And I do this, I do my pressed powder this way before I put actual powder powder on my eyes is because it helps with blending, blending all those colors in. So that's why I use pressed powder on top of my eye primer because eye primer is a bit sticky. But if you like that stickiness, you want that clinginess, then you can absolutely skip this step. So this is going all over, I guess it all over the eye, just like this. And I'm going to get a mirror because my mirror is too far away. And it's just going all over and I'm going even past my crease. So like I said, this is a whole transitioning color. And I want this to kind of be the backdrop for the color that I have picked out for my actual eyelid. Just get a little bit more going across here. And for me, having hooded eyes, I bring it up pretty close to my eyebrows. Oh, eyebrows! Oh, no. That's okay. We'll get those in a minute. We can get those in a minute. So, like I said, I'll bring this really close to my actual eyebrow because I have hooded eyes. And if, with my eyes being open, you see this part right here? That way you guys can see the color that's going on. Alright, again all over the eyelid and past the crease very close to the eyebrow just smooth that out smooth it and I go for the angle as well it just helps bring having like the cat it just it angle um it just helps bring everything makes my eyes appear like this instead of like this so that's why I do that so if you have hooded eyes like 
I do. There you go. I get a little helping tips over here. Okay, so eyebrows. I normally do my eyebrows first. <laughs> For some reason, I just decided not to. So I am going to go looking at this picture. I'm going to go with the darker color, the number two color right here, the powder. I could go darker if you want to go to like the actual black, black um, color that, you know, Wonder Woman has and she has the black hair and everything. But I'm going, this is pretty dark for me, so I think it'll work out. So just like so. And shade those babies in because you're going to go with, um, you're going to outline your eyebrows here in a minute with black eyeliner. So you kind of get that comic book effect going on. With me, I gotta work a little bit on this side with filling it in. There we go. Because this eyebrow is wonky. Wonky eyebrows. We don't want no wonky eyebrows. Alright, and then on the other side, I can just fill it in. I kind of go towards the bottom where my hairs are nor naturally at. Kind of go a line up. But again, this side is wonky too. My eyebrows, I'm just not having good eyebrow day, eyebrow tweezing days today. That's okay. That's why I have my palette. My palette helps me fill in those eyebrows. And look gorgeous. See how they're really darker? My eyebrows are darker to my skin, my hair, my skin color, my hair color. So it's going to work out. And I think really doing with the black. So now I'm getting my eyeliner in the color perfect, which is our jet black color. Um, really going to create a little bit more of that cartoon comic book effect. So very carefully try to outline stay as close to your oh, I gotta, sorry I gotta look I gotta look as close to your eyebrows as possible it looks like she goes about midway on her bottom of the arch so probably about like right here and she kind of traces it now you could actually do this with You can do this with a pencil, or you can do this with a dip and draw. And then, so I'm just doing really little strokes, and I'm going to be going back and forth. And she kind of evens it up. She goes over the arch, her arch, just a hair, but stops short of the line that she created on the bottom. Alright, see so kind of like like this and see how it darkened it up a bit more. Oh, I hear my boy. You might get a little peek of my boy here soon. So now I'm going to take, um, go back to my, I use my artist brow brush to fill in the, the holes here. And I'm just going to go over that just to smooth everything out. And I know I have a little bit left over, so I'm actually going to take this into the um, the hairs right here and kind of make them stand out a little bit more. Alright, let's see if we can do that on the other eye. Actually, I'll be back. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other eye. You saw what I did on this eye, so I'm gonna do the other eye. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've got this. I also grabbed one of my shine cloths because I foresee lots of messing up, but you know it's all fun. It's all fun and game. Okay, I'm gonna finish my 
So my eyebrows are done, taken care of. I don't need to worry about those anymore. So now I am going to finish my eye. I have this dude on there. So I've got my palette five, which is our rainbow of goodness, or the unicorn palette. It's that many colors. It's gorgeous. I love all these colors. I'm going to stick with this right here, suspicious. It's kind of like this coppery color because she's not, you know, it's kind of copper. Um, her, her, her makeup is kind of coppery, you know, very um neutral looking. So from this, I love this because it is kind of a fallish color as well. So suspicious, and I'm just using my shader and liner brush here. Grab some of this, and I'm just gonna put this on my eyelid and underneath my um my my bottom lid there my lash line there so this one i'm just like right on top that's why i kind of put a stude on there it's kind of like my base because these colors the um the colors from palette five are all iridescent colors and so putting another color on there like a brighter color or even just something can just kind of helps their the the shimmeriness the um the iridescent colors come out uh alive a little more at least for me all right let's do the other eye just pat it on there and with the with this palette with palette number five you do want to pat these colors on there because they're an iridescent color they just work a little bit differently than any of our other palettes but I do this with all, all my palettes not just palette five not just these iridescent colors and now I'm going to grab my crease my crease brush just wipe it off from yesterday's shenanigans all right yeah get that brown out and I'm just gonna go back right back into suspicious and just bring that underneath my lids here just like this and I really want this color to be intense and I'm so I'm bringing it the whole nine yards down I guess I could put some astute under here too but that's okay. Okay, so I'm trying to do an eye winged eyeliner with the dip and draw. And I looked up and my camera was like, mm, no, I'm not here today. So. Okay, my camera totally died on me. Actually, it was my SD card kind of full. So I had to find a new one. And so it missed the amazing wing eyeliner I did. Oh wow. We'll just go and do the other side, huh? So all I did was I just, I finished off the my eye using the suspicious and I went to the other eye, did the same thing. Um, brought it down my lash line. So now I got my dip and draw eyeliner in the color black as well. Ooh, excuse me. Now we're just doing the the wing. I got one wing down. Let, let's see if we can do the other one. And it's a little bit different for difficult for hooded eyes to get that wing, master that gorgeous wing, but it can be done. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Probably not. Sorry. Alright, gotta get a little bit more. A little bit more. So 
to do it a little bit at a time. You can add, but you cannot take away. I mean, you could, but then you have to like redo your makeup, so it'll go the long way. All right, I'm actually gonna fix this side. This side looks crazy. Let's see if I can even this. Just right here. My liquid eyeliner is going out quicker because it's going over that, uh, it's <laughs> going over the metallic color. I hope I'm not running out. That would be so sad. I just got this. Just shows you how much I love this stuff. Alright, totally much better. Alright, not as beautiful as Nikki's, but we're rolling with it. I don't, I'm just going to bring this kind of into my corners, too. And I don't know. Oh, yeah, she does it on the bottom, too. So, I don't know if I want to do this one or actually do my pencil eyeliner. Uh, don't know. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll use this again. Yeah. We'll use this again. So, and now you're just going to kind of bring it. So, this one's going to go all the way to the corner. Like, right all the way down. Kind of following your, the corner here. Actually, we'll save that. We'll save that last. I want to do this part after I get my foundation on. We'll do this after I get my foundation on. Okay. And now I forgot. We want to put a little bit of highlighting right in the corner. So I'm going back into palette five. I'm going to use Vindictive, which is this gold color, just to kind of go in the crease. Uh, not the crease. The um the corner there. Corner highlight. Wrong one. Where my mirror go? There it is. Okay, now we're going to do foundation. You know me, my liquid foundation. Solid gold liquid foundation. Squeeze out that dropper. Okay. Ooh. Get warm up my mascara. It's a little kind of chilly in here. I'll do my mascara after I get my foundation on. So I'm using the color Organza. Cause we got lots to do on our face too. We still got. We got to become a comic book character. We're not done yet. We've only done the eyebrows. All right, liquid foundation again. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do five drops today. Woo! And again, just dot it all over. Move my hair out of the way. So just dot. Da da, get it all over. Could be trying to be Wonder Woman. And then swirl it in. You do the swirling because there's optical diffusers in here, and that's what gives what works with our foundation, giving us that amazing flawless finish my hair out of the way my hair out of the way it fills in all of our holes our wrinkles smooths everything out 
to make us have gorgeous looking skin. Yeah, dinner smells good, huh? <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, I forgot another thing. We need to get a little bit of highlighting going on. Forgot under my eye, not above my eyebrow, a little bit, just a tad bit. We're going to go into, I don't know, I'm going to go if I want to go into brilliant. We'll go into brilliant. We're just going to, just a tad bit, we're going to use brilliant, which is this bright white color. We're going to go right kind of below the eyebrows here. Try not to get the black on you. Alright, we'll just tap it and tap it, tap it on this one. I'm trying not to mix the black with brilliant because it might turn our highlighting kind of grayish so I'm just kind of tapping it in and we just want a little bit in there just like the soap okay now we are going to kind of do our cheekbones here. Actually, no, we're going to do our concealer and then our cheekbones. So I'm just taking my Skin Perfecting Concealer. I'm just all over the place today, you guys. Been scattered brain. I want to go, you know, get my new glasses, pick them out. Trying out transitioning lenses. So that should be interesting and fun. Just using my concealer brush. We're just going to pop this right under here. Trying to do school, trying to worry about getting dinner in the oven because we have uh, kids got choir tonight. We're just a lot, just a lot, a lot's growing on my mind. On top of trying to finish their costumes. Oh, it's gonna be a busy weekend. Busy, busy, busy. Let me tell you. And I am going to get my lovely beauty blender here. I used a real technique one. And I'm going to use my setting spray. Because you want this to be damp. You really do. So I'm just going to spray and squish it. Spray and squish. Get it all nice and wet. Spray and squish, spray and squish, spray and squish. Do, 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 do. Alright, and so then you just bounce it on in. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Wonder what the kids are gonna say when I walk out after this. <laughs> Bounce it on up. Just being careful not to grab my get mess up my eyebrows here. All right, set, done. Okay. So now we're going to contour out them cheekbones. And I'm going to use my bronzer in the color Hermosa. It's kind of broken, sadly. 
So I'm taking my blusher brush. I like using this brush because it's got the angle and it's perfect for catching the cheekbones. So that's what I'm going to use. <sighs> It'll go the long way, yo. Try not to get it on my carpet either. <laughs> Alright, and just chisel out your cheekbones right here. Look at there. Bam! Now if you don't like the bronzy look, you don't like the shimmery look, you can actually get, use our pressed powders. <laughs> about oh I want to say like three shades darker from your shade so for me I am organza so I would probably use like cashmere I believe it's what it's called so it's like a dark like a darker it's like it's in the dark family but it still has the pink undertones because that's what my organza is it's a pink undertone uh, foundation and so that's what I would probably use. So this is like, that's another way to kind of contour. Or you can use what I did yesterday and use palette one. And look at there, look at them, look at there, look at them cheekbones. Gorgeous cheekbones. Okay, then we're going to add a little bit of cheek color. We're going to use sweet the color sweet which is my favorite beautiful beautiful color for the fall and winter but it's really close I love it because it resembles nutmeg cheek color from Mary Kay and that's what I had and I was sad when I had ran out but I was so glad that I could find it within Unique's line of blushers so just untap it tap it on again these are so pigmented so a little goes a long way and again just tap and like look at that just that little bit and I've already got color going on and then again just tap it I'm going right over right above the contour just kind of keeping with my cheekbones there Boom, a little goes a long way. And just kind of just swoop it up after that. Get it all mixed in. So now I'm looking. It's gorgeous, you guys. Look, I am looking at my mirror back here and I'm like, dang, girl. You are looking great. Except them eyebrows are just driving me nuts. <laughs> Not used to the long, you know, wet right past here, but we're being, look, we're being, we're being this, we're doing this. That's what we do. This is what we do. Alright, and we're going to add a little bit of a luminosity. And I'm going to use this cream luminizer in the color Benevolent. So it's a little bit more of a goldish. A goldish color. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe. It's not super white. Like I have um, Iridescent. It's really white. So this one's kind of goldish. So I'm just using my fingers. It's a, it's a cream that goes, that dries on. So I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones here with this color because it you know Wonder Woman's got some gold she's an Am Amazon so she's got some of this gold in her this gold hue to her her skin so we're just gonna add some Whoop. again I gotta be careful with these eyebrows I probably should have probably should have put some translucent powder on it but we're about to do that here in a minute so just tap, just tapping it on, just tapping it on, and right, right there, it's, it's, I am becoming gold, golden. So right along my cheekbone, and just kind of blending it in, kind of bringing it up here too. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this on my tip of my nose, because we're about to highlight that sucker in a minute. Or I could bring it down to you, but it, you know, you just putting a high. You're just putting this stuff wherever you are gonna be seeing highlights from sun and lights, indoor lights. And we're just going to just highlight highlight our future. You want to highlight it right there. Alright. 
my hand is going to be just, uh, it's on my palette. <laughs> okay. So, now we're going to set everything. And we're, because we're going to, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy busy. What we're about to do. So, I'm going to get my powder puff brush, brush, powder puff brush, and be able to set everything before I add, start adding anything else so my eyebrows don't get all messed up. We don't want that. We don't want that. So, you just plop it right on top. I'm just, I'm patting my eyebrows so I don't mess them up. But just like that. Just going everywhere because we are about to be crazy with our makeup today. Like, putting stuff where stuff isn't supposed to be put. But that's the beauty of playing with makeup, you know? See, my eyebrows are just, they're already getting messed up. They're getting, it's okay. It's alright. We're going to keep going. Okay, so kind of to do the band. Huh, we're going to get into the band. This may take a long time. A long time. I may have to fast forward through this or come back. We are actually going to use a splurge cream. And I'm going to use Tenacious. So this is a bronzy gold color. Ooh, mascara? Do I, yeah, I'll do my mascara. I forgot. Mascara. We'll I'll go ahead and get that on so we don't forget about it. Because that's kind of what's going to bring it, this look together. Alright, so I'm using my Epic. I may let this dry and put in another coat. Because that's what I love about Epic. You can put as many coats as you want. Make them lashes touch your eyebrows if you really want. I could have waited on the one. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. We're just rolling with it. We're gonna roll with it. We're just rolling. Rolling with the dough. No, not really. I wish. <laughs> All right, let's get this other side, and then we'll get back. So, like I was saying, I'm gonna use tenacious to kind of make the gold headband. Her crown, or whatever it's called. I really don't know what it's called, you guys. I have not seen Hunter Woman. Oops. Okay, so my camera stopped on me, so I just kind of went ahead and filled everything in and uh, again topped it off with translucent powder. So now we're going to take my black pencil and we're going to outline this and then we're, I'm going to take my lip liner and we're going to attempt to start. Alright, so like I said, just it's just outlining this and make sure you kind of get the point in the middle. So just outline. And I didn't want to bring it too far into my hairline because um, my hair's probably my hair's pulled back right now, so it would probably um, cover that anyway. Plus, I didn't feel like trying to get makeup out of my hair tonight. So just like that. Boom! Outlined it. Outlined that. Alright, now we're going to take my red lip liner. It's in the color Primal. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to do like the little star and then just fill it in that way. So let's. Try to get this in the middle. Now if you have a stamp, you lucky dog, you. Oh, I might not be able to do it with this. So let's just say I'm not the greatest of drawers. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm not the greatest of drawers. So I went ahead and I used my Splash Liquid 
lipstick and a lip brush to kind of fill in my star shape there. So now we're going to get to add all the little gory details. So that is the comic book. So I'm going to use my black and again I'm just kind of looking here, looking at this photo, just trying to match. So we kind of have like a curve going on here. And then like a line going kind of like here. Good, good. And now we're going to try to do the nose. Let's see, she kind of bridges her nose right about here. And then again, just a little bit right here. And then she kind of does this number and just kind of shapes it a little bit and then definitely around the curves of the nose and then right here and then here oh and then a little bit kind of right here and then of course outlining the lip on this side and a little bit on this side Oop, my pencil is starting to get too much color going on on it. There we go. And just a little bit. And now we have some right there. And then we have them kind of on our sides here on the temples. And then our cheekbones. And again, right there. And then she muscles out the chin. She chisels out the chin. So. outlined in black. Okay, and now we have a little bit of white left on our face to do as well. So like right here on the chin I'm afraid that my worry is the lip part I don't know how well this is gonna do like I said I've never done this it's probably best to do it with like paint but we're we're going with we're going with the flow here and then right kinda on the bridge of the nose like the tip like that then, why we need to finish the eye liner stuff, and then she kind of brings it right here. I'm just looking in a little bit on the lip. 
Okay, you probably notice I don't have my black lip liner on it. I was starting to use my liquid lipstick, but once I started to get to the white part of the lip, the cartoon lip, it wasn't working. So I just took it off and I went ahead and I'm going to use my lip stain in the color Saucy, which is a bright corally red color. And I will want to take the off first, the black liner off because this is a liquid so I'm going to do this first let it dry and then go around with the lip liner and do the details of it and I think it'll look better and won't smear the liquid lipstick and the pencil, the white pencil will actually work. That was my fear when I was doing this. So it's a liquid lipstick. It's it's still liquid. It's it dries to a matte finish, but it still has a little bit of transfer. They're super pigmented, but they still transfer just a little bit. So that's what I was afraid of. I even tried the trick of using the translucent powder and it still wasn't working. It was still kind of there. So, or maybe I just didn't let it rest enough. I don't know. So while this is drying, I can actually outline my lips with the black pencil liner. So, oh. Cool. Uh oh, someone's at the door. I will in just a minute. Huh, yes, you can go ride your bikes. I look like a little crown, but when I smile, oh, you can see my smile lines. Okay, yes, buddy, but have someone else tie your shoes, okay? Or I'm almost done. Okay, now here we go. Lip, white. Hopefully, this will be work how I want it to work. If not, I tried it, but you get the idea. You can't go outside. Yes, I can go outside. Yeah. <gasps> Perfect. Yes, Victoria. When, when I'm done, I'm trying to kind of stay close to black line. <coughs> Excuse me. I really got to push. I got to like smash my lips down. Still transferring a little, but I think it's because I'm just not trying to trying to hurry because my battery is going dead. Okay. So then. This side is just not going as well as the first side. Oh well. Then there. All right, so you kind of get the idea. I might just, I uh, yeah. I mean, this works. Okay, so my hair was being crazy finicky, so I am going to end it here. I was finished off anyway, so I got my lips looks. It worked out. Lip stain works better than splash liquid lipstick. But this is it, you guys. This is my Wonder Woman cartoon. 
hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you get inspired to come up and create your own look. I'm signing off. You guys have a fabulous Wednesday, and I will see you.